Okay, morning chaps. It's not too late, you can always change your mind and follow us a couple of minutes behind in your croakum. <laughs> <laughs> can we not persuade you? Oh, we don't want to croakum the day though. <laughs> so good morning and welcome along to another Mendit ride. We're off to Croakum, which we found out during the chat this week on the post for the ride that it is the ride that everybody fears and I'm dreading it, Pete's dreading it. Don't really know why we're doing it. <laughs> But we will see. There is six of us, Alex, Justin, Ian, and we're picking up Dean and Pete and Walton. So there's only three of us at the moment. And obviously me, I'm Darren. Hello, let's get this done. Uh, I'm gonna be thankful for this 34 cassette today, I can tell you. Are you cold or are you just shaking with fear? I'm terrified. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Uh, I don't know, it's your idea. Anyway, a little bit about today's climb. Croak and Coombe is 1.3 kilometers long, average grain of 15%, but it maxes out at 25%. But that max out comes in the last 200 meters and it stays there. It is an absolute beast that nobody really likes doing. They fear it, so much so. <laughs> uh, I've done it once and I failed it. And I was probably at my strongest then on my lightest bike. My only hope today is the 34 cassette I've got on this trek. And I'm praying that that will get me up there. I nearly made it. I was on my own. Being with another five people might actually spur me on a little bit. Pete's never done it and he lives quite close. I'm thinking of peeling off now and just going back <laughs> home. Ian, Ian's done it once and he eats claims for breakfast. And uh, he did it 20 years ago and hasn't done it since. Alex is a first timer. Dean's done it a couple of times and there's a time of around nine minutes. So he's favorite. And Justin, well, we've seen Justin climbing in the last couple of weeks. He's definitely so strong at the moment. So I don't know who's gonna get up there first. I do know I'm gonna be last. It, it doesn't fill me with confidence that when you tried it before, you were really fit and strong on a lightweight bike and you didn't get up. Yeah. That's, that's not three things that are filling me with confidence. That's why I'm petrified and Pete's terrified. Sleepless night last night. <laughs> So what have you waited uh, another 20 years that to do That is it a really good question, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, back then it was my old steel bike, uh, 42, 23, and I got up it, but I was in my 20s. <laughs> I'm not anymore. Right, so Ian now stopped for a technical adjustment. Yeah, he's having a wee, and uh, we are approaching the first climb. What is this one called? Is it just Enmore? Mm. So it's just Enmore, which is the first uh, foray into the Quantox. Gets us up the top. Get, takes you over a thousand feet. Is it 400 meters or something? 388 meters? Something like that. Mm. It's about 10 to 12 percent. This one isn't too bad. It's all the ones on the other side that are the, are the terror climbs. Alex has just said it's not much of a climb. So is those. That it? <laughs> Those, those words you could soon regret. Is it sensible that we're racing up here? Probably not. And we've dropped everybody. That's probably not the most sensible idea. But every hill's a race, isn't it? <laughs> So you found that hard, Dean, that one? I did. I, uh, I struggled a little bit. I saw these guys once, because I was a bit behind uh, at the bottom part, and then it's <laughs> I don't know, who was that first? Pete. Uh, well, I was kind of hoping that having not cycled much this week, I'd have saved my legs, but having felt them on the first climb, I'm in trouble. Yeah, just up. Let's do it. This one is Alex is getting see. cold. Yeah, Let's, Let's get her warmed up. Yeah, this doesn't bode well. We're going down the uh, west backward descent now to get to the other side of the Quantox. I've just been dropped coming up that little ramp. I'm mean, now even more petrified than I was before we started.
So either I'm playing it right and they're all smashing themselves and they're gonna run out of energy or I am properly struggling today because they keep dropping me. <laughs> and I don't want to put too much effort in because I know what's coming. But the way I'm feeling at the moment, I'll give it about a 60% chance of getting to the top. I am cacking it. I want to know what Alex thinks. Because from the other side, she's like, oh, it's not that impressive. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Makes five of us. I think Ian's genuinely looking forward to this. <laughs> That is the entrance to Crocombe Coombe. That's where we're going. You know when you have an idea in your head and you think it's a good idea, and then you actually have to come to do it, and then you think, what were you thinking? You That's this moment now. <laughs> yeah. I will see you all at the top. I don't know how much we can film going up, because it is a beast and a steep. Unless I'm walking, then it'd be really easy to film. <laughs> oh, pray to the 34 cassette gods. Place your bets, first to last. <laughs> Alex just doesn't want to die. Definitely not. I'm scared. Uh, if you're scared of that bit, where'd you get around the corner? Smooth, smooth. You ready? That's mine, Danny's eyes. Spinning. Let's come down on that. It's a lot easier coming down than going up. We're about to find out. Yeah, we're about to find out. You want to come up with us? No, I can't do it again. <laughs> I don't think I'd come down here with those brakes, would you? <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't hear him for the last 10 minutes. I'm worried he's going down on this. Come on, we can't put this off anymore. That's, yeah. that's a minute of filming. How was that? It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. That was fine. I thought it was alright. It, like, it was the final bit kicks, but it was fine. Absolutely fine. And considering how big gears I've got. I wouldn't want to do it again, but it was alright. now. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody said, you know, we've got to do that again, I wouldn't cry. How was that the third Maybe time around? Maybe inside a bit. <laughs> speech, speech, speech. Oh, it was, it was alright. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it would be. That's what we're saying, yeah. Would you do it again right now? No, not right <laughs> now. We did it. I'm dying. Apparently I was uh, 40, 30, 40 seconds faster than last time too, so hooray for the 34 cassette. Let's go back and see where Alex is, cheer on. She was some way back. But kudos for coming up at even. Oh, I don't know where the others are. Well done. Two stops only. Alright? How was that? That's horrid. <laughs> <laughs> First one is done. You got up? I put my foot down twice, so I didn't. Well done, everybody. Amazing effort. Anyway, beat Pete up. No, yeah, I had my money on Pete. You said those famous words, oh they don't look much. Are you eating those words now? I am. <laughs> Is that the toughest climb you've ever done? Yeah. Are you gonna come back and do it again? Yeah. You are? <laughs> yeah, of course. Very brave. Now I know how long it is. I can, I can paste it. Yeah. 34 cassette. <laughs> Yay!
This is beautiful out there, isn't it? Yeah, uh, this is amazing, yeah. I'm gonna put the camera away now because this is a steep descent again. GoPro's on. GoPro's on, yeah. Uh, we've lost Ian, we're hoping he's gonna meet us at the cafe. He was so fast down that descent, we're not sure if he took the uh, right turn or not. So hopefully we'll catch up with him again. Really pleased with myself now. I can start to enjoy the ride. <laughs> start worrying about that bloody climb. Yeah, hopefully the sun will come out. It's supposed to be 30 degrees today. So far, it's barely 20 and uh, still a little bit chilly coming down that descent. Found you, Ian. You're yeah. too fast on the descent. I ahead of <laughs> now Alex has let her hair down. I thought I'd let mine down as well, but mine's fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming up the climb and get rid of all the weight all possible. The weight. <laughs> Milkshake, Pete. And done this properly. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, we've gone for a posh English tea and a milkshake. It's warm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a proper commute special there, Pete. That's good one. Yeah, there's more, more gravel in there than most roads on commute, mind. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had on a club ride in so long. I don't know what it is about it. It's been smiling it's all day. It's because Del's not here. That's it, <laughs> Del's not here. So much better that way, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Just Del. Just joking, Del. We're only joking. joking. Miss you, really. Right, so we're exiting the Quantox on our way back to Bridgewater. Probably to take the same road we went through Bridgewater in the first place. This lane coming down has been a lot of fun. Nice fast descent. Now that climbs out of the way, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I really enjoyed it in the end. All that fear, all that anticipation, and I'm chuffed to bits I got up it. Peter set a time, he says, of 8, no, 9, 8.26, which now makes him the fastest up there in the club. So a big one under Pete. Uh, when you were starting weaving and zigzagging across the road, I thought you were struggling, but he's just so strong at the moment, just so strong. I think Alex is hell-bent on ripping our legs off on the way back in. <laughs> She's properly going for it. And then there were two. Just me and Justin left. Alex has left us and gone back home. Well, I'm just about tick to 100 kilometers when I get home and 1,200 meters of climbing, which is a great effort. Really proud of myself for Crocom. How did you find Crocom, Justin? Not as bad as I thought it would be. But it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's Drake Hop plus a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's definitely one of the toughest that we've got. and everybody fears which is it just says it all about that climb the, the, the anticipation and the fear before we did that climb was immense you could feel the atmosphere in the group but anyway moving on thank you very much for watching don't forget to give us a like comment and subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified of when we upload any new videos i'm not sure when the next video is i've got nothing planned at the moment but i'm sure we'll think of something but we will see you in the next video thank you again for watching